we having some fun up in here. Welcome. Welcome to all of our global listeners around the world. Welcome to another edition of the Prison World Radio Hour. What about all this fun you talking about? Yes, yes. I am your host, Jenny Triplett, and attached at my hip, acting me. out his life in stages with me. I don't got no 10,000 people watching. Is my co-host, it's my own. I well, probably actually, got about two people watching. Nope. Actually, uh, I looked at the analyst, analytics and statistics today, and we actually have more than 10,000 people listening. So that's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So, and we're doing this show for you. This is who we do it for. For all of our loyal listeners that find us around the globe, to all of our listeners that enjoy what we do, our point of view, what we have to say, our listeners that find us no matter how long of a hiatus we like to take, or... We. It, we. We is plural. We. I, we I just be here. We take off, okay? Or if we just need to take a few breaths because and, and exhale because it's all gets a little Exhale. heavy. What yeah. you doing over there? It all gets a little heavy sometimes of what we do. Nothing get heavy to me. I don't know what you're doing over there exhaling. But we do it all for you. Better not you. be inhaling. For you and you and you and you and you, you, you. Okay. And you get a car. No, okay. That's another show. Anyway, 2016. I ain't giving nobody no car. I ain't got no money like that. 2016 has set in. And it seems as if the world has gone plum crazy. Folks are losing their minds. The water crisis in Flint, Michigan, your hometown, hey, hey, watch your mouth. has come to light. It's all over national news. It's a travesty and injustice. And if Muslims were doing this... Travis. You live down the street. I did know a Travis. If Muslims were doing this, it would be perceived speculated, called out as a terrorist attack. And yet, the government of Michigan is... Boy, it's a good thing he wasn't Muslim, huh? Is slow-footing. If the government of, if the governor was Muslim... Yeah, he's oh, slow-footing. that would have been ugly. He's slow-footing, he's slew-footing. He's being the Republican that he is and letting the city suffer. You know, President Obama was there today. He actually came to Flint today and he told Flint, you know, hey, we, we got y'all back. Oh, Air Force One was in the house? In the house at, at Flint, uh, Flint Bishop, Northern? At Bishop Airport. Oh, should have yeah. been Flint Northern. Yeah. Kids are dying. Kids are dying. People are breaking out in rashes. There's all kinds of diseases um, that are going on. And it's being attributed to this nasty behind water. Look, that's real messed up, and that ain't cool. No, it's... I mean, it ain't cool in no sense of the word cool. Right, right. Let's talk a little bit about Flint, you know, growing up in Flint. Like I said, it is your hometown. It's not where you were born, but it's definitely where you grew up. And some memories about the you city. You don't know everything about where I grew up. Okay, then let's I grew tell. up in I Toledo, know. too. I don't know. So, let, okay, let's tell. Nope. Let's tell our listeners and viewers um, a little bit about Flint. What are your memories? What are your earliest memories of Flint? Going to school. Okay. You, you grew up, it was like family-oriented neighborhoods. Well, I mean, look, Flint was the, I, I just call it the hood. I don't care where you went in Flint. If we, I was Everywhere in, the hood. in Flint was the hood. Everywhere in Flint was the hood. So, I but remember, you, but it was it was hoods you know, of, of families. It was very family order. Now I grew up up the street, up the street well, in we played Saginaw, ball. We, girl. which is not too far from Flint. But you know, I hung out in Flint, and I was a cheerleader, so I traveled.
Don't get me wrong. We played ball and everything. It was yeah, ball I, I on every corner. Now, I grew up in Saginaw, which is right up the street, the streets, you know, not too far from Flint. Is we talking about Saginaw but or Flint? I hung out a lot in Flint because I was a cheerleader, so I would travel that with was like, later years. the sports teams. And Well, no, my dad. My dad used to come. My I don't know about no Flint, girl. Flint. I ain't no Flint. I used you to come know to the concerts, no Flint. the concerts at the Flint IMA, which is another name now, which I don't even know what they call it anymore, something arena. But, yeah, I used to come to Flint. I knew about Flint. Flint and was all good. We used to we used to be able to walk everywhere in Flint. Yeah, it was. It or was ride your a bike cool, everywhere. It was a cool little city to grow up in. The auto industry, just like most places in Michigan, there were plants. People who worked really good jobs. Well, by the in time the I got a, got got old enough, I couldn't get a job in the plant. You didn't want to be in the plant. You wanted who to be did? acting out your life in stages. Yeah, that was just a pipe dream. <laughs> But no, you didn't want to be in the plant. But your your parents worked good jobs. You know, your dad is a retired firefighter, so he was in the civil a civil servant of Flint. Why you keep acting like you know everything about my family? I'm trying to get you to talk about it. Trying. <laughs> mm -hmm. Some things don't need to be talked about. Yeah, I, it, just it talk needs about to be how this about. this dude is messing up this water in Flint. It needs to be talked about. Well, you know, your mom worked in the school system. And my mom was a teacher. My mom a retired teacher, too. Yeah, she's retired. Well, both, both of your my parents, parents retired. Yeah, both of your parents are retired. And um, like I said, Flint and was a... And they're trying to take their pension, too. Flint was a great place to grow up, but it's just... Cutting down on everything so, up in there. It has gotten so political, and so much politics has stepped in with the city and how they're doing the monies. And right now, you can see... It seemed like it's corruption, saying that they're trying to save money, but where's where's that money going? That's it supposedly, should be trying to save people, trying to save money. The money that they're supposedly saving, where did it go? Did it go in somebody's pocket? Because what guess did they, they do? Felt, what did they do to put it back into the city? How about I, that? I, I, I guess they felt that if they pay people, no, nah, if they take money, they're trying to save money. Let's kill people and save more money. That's what it was. We can kill a whole bunch of people up in here and save a whole bunch more money. I don't, I don't know. Because I, I don't know, know what the logic don't, was behind. I, I don't know, but... Pay the people $500,000. Come on, man. But I don't know about, you know, the plan was to, to kill people, but it was to save money. But it's also, uh, they're not saving any money because now it's going to cost the city $28 million over so many years in order to correct the situation. So, where you try to pinch Peter to pay Paul or to pocket Paul, who knows, like I said, who knows where that money went or is going, you're ending up having to give it all to Robin Hood. To who save is Paul? Hood. I ain't know, no, well, I did know Paul Reynolds. Oh, jeez. You might kill me for saying his name, though. Oh, jeez, you know. People hey, I think Paul down here in Atlanta, though. People across the country are outraged while these crazy militants in Oregon keep doing bat crazy stuff. This country has lost its total mind and no one is doing anything. What, you if think this happened overnight or something? If you're not familiar, uh, there are some civilian protesters in Oregon that are taking their issues up with the government. And then the one took over the building? By settling into yeah into this little town and running things they running things they made some demands they are upset that the farmers are being penalized and imprisoned for not wanting to sell their land so here comes what? yeah so here comes some big billy bad butts you know to try to resolve things you know they are talking about arresting the sheriff who does that because they you know, don't want to sell their land, so they arrested them? That, no, they're talking about trying to arrest... Oh, the farmers, right. yes. They sent them to prison. Well, then that's a good fight well, that they got well, see that they, they sent them to prison. I don't know what the law was that they said that they bro have broken. They sent them to prison, and then they extended their sentence for like four or five years. So that's why the people are upset. But... What's these, wrong with that? They're okay, fighting for their rights. Well, these are militants that are moved in that the, the town didn't ask them to come. The but, town doesn't want them there. Well, somebody had to fight. They're having town hall meetings 
for them not to be there and telling them they need to leave. But not only that, now there are some anti-protesters that have sprung up to tell them to get the hell out of town. We want y'all gone. What? The hell out. Hey, you better not lose use that type of language on here. <laughs> to get out of town, okay? And they have, they, but look what they've done. They've come into the town and they've rerouted some roads. Who does that? Who See, gives you, you the authority to do that? better ask for some forgiveness or something. They have rerouted the roads, shut down some buildings, and all as if this is the old west, that they could just come in and run a town. And then they are armed with guns. I mean, some of them have assault rifles and things. So it's like it's the wild, wild west. You know, and like I said, they tried, said that they're going to arrest the sheriff. Like, I shot the sheriff, but I didn't shoot the deputy. So, and no one has done anything. Besides for the townspeople trying to fight for them to leave, the FBI is saying that they are handling this situation with kid gloves, like very delicately. What the heezy? Well, that's better. <laughs> huh? I don't know what all that other stuff was. What the heezy? I, I what other stuff? That word you use. I don't use. know what you're talking about. It's anywho, a family show. Anywho, let that have been some black folks. Let that have been some Muslims. And we'd probably be burying some bodies right now. You know, this all aligns with the white privilege people continue to complain about and lots of folks don't understand. Well, uh, you know, I, that's kind of some type of terror, though, because you took over some people's place of work. Yes. It's, it's an act of terrorism. Not well, coming. not only that, they're scaring people. They're walking around with armed Rifles, arms. What do you mean? But they're in the building, though, right? They're all out over the town. They're everywhere. They're out over... they in the town? Yeah. And the police ain't doing that yet? No. Well, then they, I guess they have a right to bear arms. <sighs> Can't arrest nobody because they bearing arms? No. No, they try. <laughs> they taking over. They taking over. And they well, plan on... Now they're saying that they're planning on doing this in uh, other cities. Well, then that's the first city. I guess it's one city at a time. So what if they come to Powder Springs? They come to Powder Springs, uh -huh. we're going to have a shootout. What you, <laughs> what you going to do? We're going to have a shootout. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, I ain't going to be, nobody just going to be carrying no weapon around me, around my house. No, I'm just saying, though, if you, get, if you get upset about something and feel that you could just bear arms and go and protest. You know, Powder Springs has a black mayor now. It's our first black mayor in the history of the city. We've lived here, what, 23 years now. Hey. And, you know, we've never had a black mayor. These so. people want a gun. These people want a gun to be all over the United States. They got them. This is the big point. So I, I pull out my gun when they come in town, and we're just going to be walking in a circle, seeing who's going to draw first. Well, that's how we are puffing today. I we ain't have puffing. a I'm for real. powerful show for you. Once again, talking I'm hot about topics. being all puffed up or nothing. Just going to reiterate that no matter who we have as a guest, these hot topic shows are always, always the most downloaded. Just want to shout out our top five countries USA, of course. You guys are just tuning in, downloading, love that. Germany. Ain't we in Germany the USA? Germany moved up to the number two spot. Yeah, Germany, China, and it must be a lot of people that speak English in China. Well, I ain't been and in Germany yet. The UK and Canada. You know, we've really got to get up and get out of these chairs and get out to our people. I'm up every day. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about, about uh, internationally, these people who are, I mean, we've been to Canada, though, and... I'm up and out every day. Well, uh, out to our, our people every across day. internationally across the country. You know, we've been to Canada and we just need to go a couple more places in, internationally because obviously we have an audience. And this is why we're about to get it sizzling. Sizzling because we do it all for you. 
So hold what you got, and we'll be right back with your Prison World News. Okay, give me... Um, Did we do a bumper for Rashad from 